joins us now live from Omaha as she kicks off her signature weekend with Warren. Hi, Liz. Hey, Lori, the breaking news is that Berkshire Hathaway just came out with earnings. I'm going to look down because they are just breaking right now. First quarter profit, operating profit jumping 20 percent. First quarter profit of $5.16 billion. That's compared with $4.71 billion year over year. Again, the operating profit up about 20 percent. The analysts were expecting operating earnings of about $2,373 a Class A share, coming in actually at $3,100. 43. So that is a beat on estimates, the strength really coming from insurance. And, of course, they have planned the merger of Kraft. That's also extremely important. Berkshire is now this gigantic conglomerate. Tomorrow's the shareholder day, and we will be there. Monday night, 8 p.m. Eastern, we've got a special called Warren Buffett's America. But so much of the money that has come in is thanks to one company he bought back in 1983, the Nebraska Furniture Mart. That's where we are now. Bob Batt is the man who really helps Thank run all of this. You know, you talk about sales. Yes. Tuesday, which is considered the start of the shareholder extravaganza. Right. seven days. You did how much in business? We did a little over $9 million in one day, which broke our all-time sales records for one day. Uh, best in our history of 73 years. Do you expect you'll do even better tomorrow? Absolutely. Like, look, what, 11? In total. We don't know yet. Uh, it depends how the weather and... This place is full of great shareholders. Well, Warren Buffett told Fox Business he's expecting north of 40,000 shareholders yes. this year for the 50th. What do you think the message has to be as he gets older and older? He's 84 years old. Charlie Munger is vice chair is 91. People worry about who will really run the company. We don't worry about that. Warren says that he has succession plans in place. We have total trust as we have had since day one. Whatever he does is good for us. Tell us how you view the housing market right now. It seems to have stalled. Home ownership is at a, a significant 25-year low. Do you feel that at Nebraska Furniture Mart? No, we don't. Why? You, we're in the middle of America here. West Coast is very stagnant, horrible drought. East Coast has problems. In middle America, in our store in Omaha, Kansas City, Des Moines, and now Dallas, we're doing terrific business. The housing markets are as strong as can be. In my own neighborhood, they're selling in a matter of days. That's because of where we are in the heartland. And we are going to uh, come through this just fine. What's better, the renter's market or the housing market right now as you see it? Well, both of them. Uh, millennials don't want to buy houses like their parents did. They want to do their own thing. But it's still a very solid market. People are moving to Omaha. It's a good place to do business. Uh, it's a good place to live with your family. And you guys are opening a brand new store in Texas that will be bigger. Folks, it'll be bigger than any Ikea on the planet, right? It's going uh, to be gigantic. It'll be several times the size of Ikea. We have one right up the road from us. But we do our own thing. Um, we have furniture, flooring, appliances, electronics. It's 568,000 feet of retail, 1.3 million square feet in the warehouse in Texas. Near Dallas, right? It's in North Dallas right. in the town of the Colony. It's between Plano and Frisco along the 121 tollway. Are you going to learn how to speak with a Texas accent? Uh, yes. You're learning. No, we've been down there. I worked on the crew. We, we spent several years there planning and negotiating and finding the right site. We looked in 10 states. Texas is a tremendous place to do business. Okay, but when you do business, Warren told me that you will beat any price down in Texas that people bring to you. That's but, correct. Yeah. That's correct. It's not that difficult. It's a very expensive town. We're going to show them how to sell great furniture at low prices. Bob Batt of the Nebraska Furniture Mart. His grandma, Rose Blumkin, founded it in her basement by selling her own furniture. It's the great American story. Warren Buffett bought it. And of course, now it is a real cash machine for Berkshire Hathaway. Make sure to tune in 8 p.m. Eastern on Monday night for Warren Buffett's America. We're going to put the whole shareholder weekend together.